Thanks for tuning in to another CSC listed issuer update. Uh, today, I am talking to Andrew Morton. Andrew Morton is the CEO of Bloom Health Partners. It's been listed on the CSC for quite some time under the ticker symbol BLMH. Andrew, thank you so much for your time. How are you today? Hey, great. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Of course. Uh, Andrew, you guys had a fantastic 2021, ended the year off in revenue. Why don't you, why don't we actually start with uh, a brief introduction to Bloom Health for some viewers that might not be familiar with the company? Bloom Health Partners uh, is a Vancouver-based company where I'm sitting here today in Vancouver, BC. We have offices in Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, New York, New Jersey area, Atlanta, Montgomery, Alabama, and Los Angeles uh, with more to come. Uh, we are what I would characterize as an operational health company, which is a, a term that we've phrased which really is a combination of occupational health and health tech. Uh, what's happened in the last couple of years with the pandemic kind of coming on and then now slowly waning, and hopefully we see what we're seeing at the end of this, although we're, seeing, we're certainly seeing some activity around it, we've really migrated ourselves as an, or, as an organization that helps businesses stay healthy. Uh, and as an employer health-centric company, we're extending care and services to large employers, large organizations, uh, school boards, uh, and the like. Uh, as a business, you know, Anil, to give you some background, we, we really came from really two companies that merged together back in July of 2021. Originally, there was Matry Health Technologies Corp that merged with Round Hill Health Partners. We acquired the business way back then. And then since that time, have rebranded ourselves Bloom Health Partners. Uh, and then we've now recorded our first full year of revenue, first full fiscal year. And proud to say that we did 9.8 million top line with a profit, you know, $2.4 billion, million, excuse me, uh, EBITDA, which is not a bad, bad, bad showing for the first year. Absolutely. Quite a large footprint that you have ending the year off profitable in revenue is, is mm -hmm. definitely great. What was your shareholder sentiment like? Everybody's really happy about it. And uh, I'd say their existing shareholders are thrilled. You know, I would say we're still very much an undervalued story, given that our revenues are quite, quite large. Uh, we've now put out guidance since to the street uh, where we're 25 to $28 million top line with positive EBITDA for the coming fiscal. Very recently announced that we're tracking nicely to that number. So we feel very confident about that for this fiscal year. And, and I think that the market's now starting to understand what we do. Uh, because if you look at what's happened the last couple of years, you know, the pandemic and there was a lot of, a lot of a lot, a lot of hype and a lot of noise around pandemic type, type, type companies. We were never yeah. built that way. We initially found that our business, not because we were a pandemic company, but we found that our business because we recognized things were exposed in healthcare as a shortcoming. With shortcomings being how care is extended. You know, lots of very smart people out there doing very smart things with pharmaceuticals and treatments and you know, all kinds of other great stuff for patients. But the way care is administered hasn't changed in decades. Now, we're not trying to compete with hospital systems and healthcare systems. Our clientele is essentially large organizations and helping them extend care to, in some cases, students, in other cases, uh, their employees. And the employee market, you know, if anybody had a look around, it's kind of hard to find people these days. So employers are now looking for new methods to, to attract employees and retain the ones they have. And Bloom is that occupational health provider where we erect clinics or provide services on site to give employers the edge when looking for employees. Andrew, the company has had a lot of news flow in 2022. Mm -hmm. I want to actually talk about the most recent news, but then we'll get into all of the stuff that you and your team have been working on over the last few months of the of 2022. So the most recent news was a health tech software platform that you had announced. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So the, the product is called Bloom Shield. This was really the crux of why our companies came together in the first place. I mean, the original teams that we merged were a technical team with Matri and then a clinical team with Bloom. And we, we decided to rebrand the whole thing, Bloom Health Partners. It just seemed like a good, suitable name for, you know, for things going forward. Plus, we're blooming out of all of this. Everything's getting exciting now. The, post, the pandemic's behind us. The Bloom Shield is our branded software platform that is all about helping employers and employees track their health. Employers should never know the personal health information of their employee, but what they can know is a data input and the data feed and a graph around what the viability is of their organization. How many diabetics do we have on site? How many people have been tested for COVID because people are still doing that? How many people have been vaccinated if that's something that they want to keep an eye on? How many people have been vaccinated for flu shots? How many people have heart conditions? That kind of thing. So if we're collecting data for them and providing it to them in an anonymized fashion, Bloom Shield gives an employer the ability now to plan their business for the coming decade. And, what, and really what that's all about is business continuity. 
you know, it's become a really hot topic the last, we'll call it six months around employer and employee uh, relationships. Employees now have a choice because there are more jobs than there are potential employees. They can start to pick and choose. If they feel they're being better taken care of, well, then of course they're going to be they're going to gravitate towards that. And if they have a window into their health where they they get a diabetes test or they get diabetes maintenance or pre you know, you know pre screening for cancer or something like that, well now they have a window where they can look at that. And that's what Bloom Shield's about is really the safety of the employee where they themselves have anonymized data for themselves, which is private to them, but the employer knows on a grander scale with Bloom Shield how viable their operations are. Andrew, like I mentioned, you and your team have been putting out consistent news flow over the last few months. Um, talk to us about some of the news and you can summarize it if you'd like. Happy to. To go backwards, the most recent one, we just announced a new chief operating officer, uh, Rosemary Elliston. Uh, she comes to us with a ton of experience in healthcare. Uh, she ran large operations. She was at Can Cancer Treatment Centers of America. She has a background in places like Kaiser Permanente. Definitely what I would call a, a, an A player in the medical industry. But more than that, understands clinical operations and is really leading the charge with us and from an operational perspective uh, through operational health. You know, we also have added some other announcements around Bloom Shield, which you mentioned as well. And we also announced our first quarter. So, you know, five, you know, over $5 million in our first quarter, not a good way to, not a bad way to start. You know, not, not a, you know, and it's amazing to me how quickly we're growing and how exciting that is. We also announced earlier on in the year that we also achieved a, a contract with the state of Texas. So, you know, COVID testing is still something that seems to be very real, at least to the rest of the year. Uh, we're doing testing now for schools in the state of Texas, much like we're doing testing for the schools in Alabama. You know, outside of that, we also have other new exciting things that are coming in, in the very near horizon around client announcements, uh, around different kinds of services we're going to offer, and additions to Bloom Shield. So lots to look forward to in the coming months. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. So where can our viewers go to read more about your company, uh, the newest addition to your teams, and, and all of the news flow that you've been, you've been putting out? Well, the best place is always, of course, our website, bloomhealthpartners.com bloomhealthpartners.com, say it twice, but also our Twitter feeds, which we have. We're also very active on LinkedIn, places like that. Uh, you know, because we are you know, technical people, of course, we have Instagram pages and that kind of thing, but I'd always go to our website first and that'll give you links to everything. Perfect. I'm going to give you the last uh, you know, minute or so to, to, for any message that you want to put out to your existing shareholders uh, who've been supporting you and your team and company throughout this process. Uh, as well as anyone that might be on the sidelines looking to become an investor. Absolutely. I think the most important takeaway from all of this is that everything we said we would execute on, we've been doing. You know, we delivered on the revenues we said we would deliver on. We, we are, we're delivering the technology we promised our investors, and we're going to continue to deliver on those promises. But the bigger thing is we're now delivering as a real business. You know, we're not just pie in the sky. We're going to change the world and all of that kind of thing that people have to say when they're launching a business. We really are executing on our plan and are going to continue to add the, the firepower around us to be able to do that. And what I can say is customers like us. We do the right thing for them because we keep them open. Uh, and now as we're evolving into this next new, bold new world over the next decade where employment health is going to be the hottest topic on everybody's mind, we're right in the middle of all that, defining the category. Andrew, I'm actually curious, how big is this employment health industry? Um, talk to us a little bit about that. Well, if you look at every large corporate 500, Fortune 500 CEO, and our, our clients tend to be quite large and primarily US-based. They're all saying the same thing. Their, their biggest challenge right now is what to do about their hourly workers, the machinists, the mechanics, the factory workers. That's the problem right now. Those are the ones they're having trouble attracting. You know, just this last weekend, another big resort company announced that they're raising wages 30%. Now, it's great that they're doing that, but that's not necessarily entirely out of the goodness of their hearts. They're having trouble finding people. We just spoke with the Fortune 500 CEO last week, well-known Fortune 500 brand. I can't name names, of course, because they're a public company. But he told us flat out, my biggest concern right now is that, you know, for my, my, my executives, they're covered. They have great health insurance. They've never had an issue with health care. It's never been top of mind. It's just part of a package at their level. But for the other 40,000 workers we have, I feel like we're at risk. This is exactly what he said to us. And this backs up a point that was made back on January 18th on CNBC when Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, flat out said, employers need to, need to get serious about health, to paraphrase a little bit, or, you know, or do so at your own peril, to quote him directly. Well said. I think on that note, uh, I would encourage uh, anybody watching to definitely go to the Bloom Health Partners website, read up more on uh, the team, what the company is working on, sign up for the latest news so you can keep up with their news flow. Andrew, 
I wish you and your team nothing but success as you move forward into the rest of the year. And we look forward to hosting you sooner than later and to talk about more of your successes. Well, thanks again. Always a pleasure.